<laughs> right then. What date is it? It's the seventh. Uh, the seventh of September, is it today? Seventh of September, two thousand and twenty. Yeah. The year of the gigless year. The <laughs> and here is the news. Do we have to wait for the tune to Has it finished? It'll finish. Is that modern technology? All right. What we got? What we're going? What we're going? We're going. Yeah, the weekend. There was the uh, the second Planet Rock uh, rocks the Asylum yes. uh, gig. We uh, we played the first one and it was a great experience. It was the first time we'd managed to actually make any noise on stage in a yep. purposeful manner in a mm. long, long time, and it felt amazing. Honestly, I didn't I didn't didn't watch it, but the feedback and everything I saw from people online and everything is just incredible. People saying that even when gigs are back, this should be a regular thing. People like. Yeah, the response to it yeah, was great. Yeah. I checked out the uh, all the social media stuff as it was going on, and I, I did actually see the uh, the Wayward Sons sound check, uh, and it sound the sound. Well, we knew when we were there. We we got to listen back to our sound check, yes. and the quality was yes, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal, wasn't it? With this live streaming, uh, live streaming shows, it, it, it's kind of set a new standard for how good how good they can be with a pro camera mm. pro. Visual pro audio setup, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it. yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, so fair yeah. play, Planet Rock. You know, yeah, yeah. If you watched it, let us know who your uh, favorite favorite band was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Spiders are back. Well, hey, back at last. You'll get, you'll, really... you'll get you'll get the reference if you if you went to. <laughs> Did they really go anywhere? Not in my house, but uh, yeah, they're back and um, recording another album, I think, or recording new music. So I believe, which yeah, is good. Yeah. Um, and they got a Patreon. Uh, Patreon thing going on. Yeah, go check it out. Which is which is very cool. Like many people, we uh, discovered them supporting Airborne, didn't we? Uh, they, I think they supported Airborne around Europe. Did around we Europe did. and around the UK. I think they did a couple of tours with a, with a Airborne. They got good, pretty pally with the Airborne guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, great, they were a great band. Black Spiders. Yeah. Uh, oh, talking about Airborne, Joel O'Keefe's birthday the weekend. Happy birthday, Joel. Happy Don't birthday. know you. Never met you. You spoke to him. I spoke to him on the phone. That's a funny story. Yeah. We, uh, we planned years ago, when we were kind of fanboy about Airborne, uh, we thought, instead of, going on, <laughs> instead of going on like a lad's holiday, we'll follow the band around the UK. There's like six dates, I think. Yeah. And uh, we thought, we'll get tickets for every gig and just follow them around. It'd be cool. Um, I buggered my holidays up through work and could only manage three dates. But the rest of the lads went on, uh, on up to all the gigs. And I was at work and received a phone call. My mate Lee uh, answered the phone. Hello, mate. I'm like, hello, Gibby, what was, what, what, what is it? Oh, no, no, it's not Lee. I'm like, and then I didn't know who it was, obviously. I was like, come on, Lee, that, that is the shittest Australian accent I've ever heard. And, he, and, uh, and then he proceeded to, to explain, give me plenty of clues yeah. who it was. And uh, yeah, it was Joel. He'd uh, met him and got him to phone me on his phone. The bloody annoying thing about that is that every, almost every night, as Baz said, we were massive fanboys. <laughs> so after every gig, we'd hang around uh, <laughs> right at the back of the venue waiting for them to come out to the bus and get stuff signed and everything, but we'd also wait before the gig to try and, to yeah, try yeah. and collar them. Because, up into them. Because at that point, at the end of the gig, there was like dozens of people waiting as well, so you'd just get a signature and whatever. But we tried to bump into them before the gig as well, because like hopefully catch them when it's just them. Yeah. And then you could do the whole photo op and all that. We'd done it every day, and I think that was the last gig. Me and Leon, uh, we were like, oh, we're knackered, because every night we've been out on the lash after the gig and everything, and <laughs> we had one more night to go, so we're like, right, we'll go back and get a nap, because we're, we're, we're hardcore. A nap? <laughs> All right, now. I can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> what we did, but we went back to the hotel, and anyway, yeah, that, and and that's when that's when they actually managed to bump into them. Yeah. And give you a call. Typical so. for Gibby that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and Roger Waters' birthday as well. <laughs> Sli <laughs> slightly less rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could get two more contrasting. The seventy-seven musicians. Really. Yeah. Well, no, you couldn't. No, no. He's a dude, though. It's seventy-seven. Either. Bloody hell. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seventy-seven. Oh well, I've got another st uh, miserable statistic for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's right not my bank balance, is it? No, well, no, no, no. That's a miserable statistic. <coughs> As musicians on the inside of it, we're always keeping an eye on the situation with the COVID. You know, because mm. because obviously it's our business and it's our money, and that's where that's where we get it from. But yeah. Also because it's what we love doing. So we, we, we sort of monitor this all the time. But there's a really depressing 
study that was done via um, Encore Musicians, which are like a, you sign up and they'll, they'll look for work for you. All right. And they condu conducted a survey amongst their members, and I think of about 600 of their members who they asked, 60, 70% of them since March have, um, that's it, you know, they're done. Knocked it on the head? Yeah, knocked it on the head, yeah. Oh, that is sad, isn't it? Bloody hell, that and that, that's not a small amount, you know, that's a... That's that's more than half. Yeah, that's, that's good. for good as well. Like this is just put the put the nail in the coffin of their of their music careers. So you know, unless you got somebody behind you doing everything for you, or you've been working for years and you're finally at that massive level, everything apart from that in the music business is just a, is a yeah. is, is a nightmare of a job, and it? it's a it's a tough it's a tough living to make. Yeah, you it, know. I mean, it, it's it doesn't take you don't have to be a super switched on market analyst to realise why. It's just that. The, the, it doesn't exist anymore right no. now, you know. No. And and all this bollocks about socially distanced gigs. On the whole, it, it's not a sustainable way. I mean, the 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 odd one and everything, you know, that the great, you know, if if they can be done, they definitely should be done. But it's not a sustainable way to not for, for fans to earn a living. No, no, not not for the future. No, definitely not. No, it's it's it is it is a, it is good to keep venues open, yeah. and it is good to keep bands grinding it out but you're right if, if that's how it has to be for the next five ten years then no, it's, no. They're, they're, it's, it's not good no, it way, ain't not no. no way no way on a brighter what a, what a note on a brighter note i checked out the uh the official rock and metal singles chart again go on has it changed guess who's in at number 10 acdc highway tale it's exactly the same exactly yeah. the same as it was last week another one bites the dust by queen is at number one Again. Unbelievable. Mm. Unreal. It's the same. Same top ten. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all the good news today, isn't it? All the good news, yeah. What oh. else have we got? Oh, the uh, new Bill and Ted film's out. Excellent. You seen it? <laughs> the people of a certain age will get that, won't they? I haven't seen it, no. <laughs> I haven't been to the... Uh... How's the cinemas work? Can you go to the cinema? Are they open? Um, is it like... Every... That is a very good point. I actually don't know. I don't know. It'd be a bit of a kick in the nuts to know that people can go and watch films and can't go and, and, watch, can't, gigs. Can't go and watch gigs. I don't really see what the difference is there, but no, I don't know. No, I haven't seen it. No, if you have seen it and you think it's good or it's garbage, let us know. Another reboot because I didn't know this because I've not seen this either. But the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, I think the premise of that film is that they discover that they're within the film universe that they're making someone's making a, re a reboot of a film they both really like. <laughs> Oh, all right, and they it. don't want it to be made because they're, they're never as good. Have you seen the original? I, I have seen it. I thought original. it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought it's it was good. Film. Yeah, yeah I've, heard, I've heard the new one's great as well, actually. But um, I'm, I'm not no, I watched it. It took, it just took it weirdly been busier than I've ever been. You know, over over this time. Yeah, so. Empire, Empire, great band. We had the guys in uh, last week. Played uh, played a few few songs with them. Had a bit of crap with them. They're they're actually playing a gig at the, the Waterloo, September the nineteenth. Um, that's in Blackpool, that's the UK. Black, uh, yeah, in Blackpool. I mean, don't go to the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be there. Yeah, yeah the rub uh, great, uh, greatest singing songs, rubbish at fighting. Yeah. Well, um, that's, you know, I, I don't know the rubbish at fighting. Did's a big block anyway. Anyway, I'm ca casting aspersions. Um, but yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, September, September the nineteenth at the Waterloo in Blackpool. Um, Ian from the Waterloo is uh, runs a great venue and yeah. trying to trying to get the. Trying to get the scene rolling again. He's one. He must be one of the first. One of the first venues. I, I've certainly been made massively aware of, of just trying to get it back to yeah. things going and keeping it alive, keeping bands working, which is yeah, amazing. Yeah, he's, he's really, uh, really gone to town on Proactive, it. Proactive, isn't he, about it all? As soon as he got the go ahead to, because it's. I think I, I believe it's still down to your local council, and they can yeah. auth they can authorize yeah. venues to to. Put on gigs and shows as long as it's monitored and you know they can't, yeah, of can't just be a free for all. They've got to sort it out properly. Uh, but he was straight away, <clears throat> day one. Right, let's get some gigs booked and let's let's make it work for now. You know. Yeah, definitely. That's yeah. the kind of spirit we need, really. That is absolutely you know. the spirit. We there's need. also a venue in Leeds. Uh, I've just remembered this now. It's not something I plan to say, but there's a venue in Leeds. I'll look. It, I'll look it up and I'll put the link below. Who are offering their room? And their video equipment and their audio equipment for bands to book at quite a reasonable price, I believe, to go and film a set, stream it live. But they, they, that's so. This is this is a venue who are adopting that that um, that approach because obviously they they can't cool, have 
bands and uh, get actual live music gigs on socially distanced or not. So they've uh, they've started that. So uh, go, go check them out because I'm sure this exists more in more than one right. place. But I remember this place. Uh, I've seen the advert. Amazing, it, so. amazing what uh, the, these horrible times and stuff make people do. You know, you make you adapt and, and, and do different things to survive. It's really good. Well, one last thing before we go. Uh, checked out the weekend. If you if you're in if you're in and you're not you're not going to gigs obviously at the moment. Check out Royal Republic live at Rock Palast and Skindred. It's a Rock Palast video live at Summer Breeze Festival from a few years ago, watched them both at the weekend, both are incredible live sets. Two of the best live bands Unbelievable around. Unbelievable bands. Royal Republic and Skindred, check them out. Brilliant.